Hey everyone, I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez right there. Uh, so, how's it going, Brian? All is good. It's always a great time when I'm here at the Fitness for 10 studio talking to my main man, Steve Main. See how I play that in? That makes me feel, um, you know how that makes me feel? Warm inside? No, phenomenalicious. That's a word right there, phenomenalicious. Yeah, you know what it means? Nope. Darn. Well, I know if you know what it means, that means it is a word. So <laughs> I was just throwing it out there. It's so good. Something that's phenomenal and delicious. Phenomenalicious. <laughs> that's it. That's the definition. Okay. <laughs> so phenomenalicious then. Let's, let's talk about that for a second. The thing that I thought was phenomenalicious, we went on a special dinner one night up at uh, – up an incline up here in Lake Tahoe. And uh, we went to this restaurant over at, my, at the golf course. And uh, they served an apple pie. A single serving is what I looked at. It was supposed to probably be for two or three people. For this guy. <laughs> single the, serving for you. Yeah, yeah. The crust and the layer was sugar cookie. So you had apple pie with sugar cookies all around it. That was phenomenalicious. You might want to write that down, everybody. All right. Yeah, we'll have to do a video on that, a separate video on that. So uh, we're going to talk about the importance of strength training. So, yeah. so many people, they don't incorporate all the components of fitness, which there's three, uh, strength, uh, strength training, flexibility, stretching, and cardiovascular um, cardio exercise. So you're, you have a client who, uh, you know, and I, I have a very strong opinion on this. You have a client who asked you a question and what was that question? So it was, uh, they, they were, um, talking to me about how to incorporate, I should, I should strike this with his, they're going to be a client the, the importance is they, um, they're very good about their fitness routines. Good eater, um, concerned about how the body's looking and affecting because uh, good shape, good condition, but they do cardio and group group sessions that are like dance style sessions. Group training, yeah. Yeah. Like group and, fitness. Yeah, real good classes, real good training, very serious about the workout programs, but it's now starting to see the effect of the body where things don't look the same and things might sag a little more here or there. And my approach is always, when I talk to people that are doing this, well, let's consider, because you know, a lot of people are like, well, why is my skin this way? Why is my skin that way? It's saggy over here, saggy over there. You know, people start thinking about, well, maybe I got to go get this cut off and this cut off. Uh -uh. Let's incorporate some strength training. And, and, and I think what we have to uh, <clears throat> clarify for that I'm not talking about going to being a knucklehead weightlifter like me. When we're talking about strength training, there are so many good ways to put it into your fitness program. So if you're not involved in it, this is what I'm going to say. You want some form of strength training in your fitness routines at least two to three times a week. Three, I think, might even be better. Now, I'm not talking about hardcore weightlifting sessions. I'm talking about things that are as simple as body weight exercises. There's nothing wrong with free squats where you're just squatting up and down. Um, Push-ups, <clears throat> lunges, um, different styles of planking, um, things of this nature that you can use with your body. And there's way more than what I just explained with just your body that helps work on your strengthening. And the reason you want to separate it out from these other programs is because then you will focus on your muscular development. This isn't going to make you, you know, swole or anything like that. It's just going to help your body, you know, working on those muscle fibers. Uh, another very easy way to do it is if you incorporate your body exercise, well then start looking at the use of exercise bands. Uh, you know, if you come to our facility, we already have them. This is something you can go online, go to the big five, go to whatever sports store shields, and you can buy them in the fitness sections and they have handles on them. And some of them don't, but they're flex, they're, they're flexible. 
their bands, they have certain weight ratings, and you can use these and keep them with you. And so like if you come to the gym 20 minutes before you go into your cardio routine or you're going to stay 20 minutes after your cardio routine, bust out your bands, do some weight work uh, with uh, body weight, uh, weight, weight work, and maybe throw some bands in there. Something as simple as um, medicine ball chest passes. It'll be more of an explosive move, but it's working on your muscularity. Um, then if you want to get past some of those real simple ways, a real safe way to start with the strength training that isn't going to be body weight, bands, alternative exercises, kettlebells, um, medicine balls, which I think are all fantastic. And yes, I even use all these things. Uh, machines. Every single facility you walk into has machines. And if you go to our clubs, one of the things I like about our clubs, a lot of our machines, depending on which brand um, is in the specific club, have little uh, uh, codes on them that you can click with your phone and it reads the codes. And it'll, a lot of them will have videos attached and or uh, an explanation. I think the pre-core models actually have an explanation of the device you're going to use. So you can virtually walk into these machines. There's pictures on them. Click on the code and start to use them. Or ask a coach in the gym or some of the gym staff. They will definitely show you. But machines are very safe and easy. You don't have to go crazy heavy. You just have to know what machine to use, why you're using the machine, and what body part you're affecting so that you can get all of your body worked on throughout the week. And that's really important to know also when you're even using your body weight exercises, if you're working with medicine balls, um, uh, kettlebells, uh, bands, you always kind of want to have an idea as to what zone of the body you're exercising. Because a lot of people, when they're introducing strength training, think that, oh, I'm working my arms, when in all reality, it's a shoulder exercise. Or, oh, my, I'm working my my arms, when in all rea reality, they might be working a chest exercise. And when I say that, the arms might be a support to that. It might be a secondary muscle group that's working with it. But the main mover of the body in those in those exercises, you want to know what that is so you're not just focusing on those zones. That's where we come into play and we can show you, look, do a push-up, then you make sure you do squats, then maybe do some medicine ball slams. You know, we can work that in so that we get the whole body covered. You know, and then always, you know, if you want to get into free weights, which I recommend for absolutely everybody, there's a safe way to use free weights for everybody. Free weights, what will what will do to your cardio programs and your, um, you know, if you're doing classes and things like that, it'll bring a different level of stability to your body because of all the balance that has to go with the strength conditioning, which is slightly different than the machines. The machines keep you on a single plane of motion generally, and uh, they control the motion and the balance while you're on the machine, which makes them very, very safe to use. Free weights, you got to be smart about how you're using them. Your form has to be crazy good, and you have to learn how to balance your body with that weight. Then all the stabilization comes along with it, and you start hitting muscles that you didn't even know you had. Steve? All right. So um, I I just want to tell everybody out there and you, Brian, that I, I'm practicing what I preach more. I always talk about the importance of the three components of fitness. But my opinion hasn't changed when it comes to the most important parts. Um, and so I've been stretching a lot more. I'm stretching after every workout up there in the functional area at Carson City, right above your head. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's making a difference. You know, it, it really is. Um, and I'm pushing the sled and, you know, I go for walks. And so I'm, I'm hitting it all. But the importance of strength training, if you're not doing this, if you're just doing cardio and you're taking group fitness classes, you're putting quite an effort into your exercise. Yeah, that's hard stuff. But... In my opinion, you are leaving out what's most important. And I'm going to tell you why. Strength training is the most important. And I'm not recommending this. I'm not an advocate for this. But 
if you had to only pick one uh, between the three, I would pick strength training. The reason is you're going to work your heart when you're strength training. And, you know, you can move quickly and you're, you're going to do some uh, high intensity intervals when you're weight training. You can do that, which is going to help strengthen your heart, which is what cardio also does. You're going to burn calories. And you can also work on your flexibility when you're weight training properly. So if I was only going to pick one, the most important one to pick, in my opinion, is strength training, lifting weights. And here's why I think it's most important. This is my number one reason why I think it's most important. Lean body mass, muscle tissue, especially as you age. I'm in my 60s. And as you age, the more muscle you can maintain or even put on in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you can put muscle on. And just in the last 10 years, I've put over five pounds of muscle on. You know, we have a body scanner now, and so I can get an accurate reading and all that. And that's, that's pretty good. And I'm, I've been very conditioned all my life. I've lifted weights all my life. So the more muscle base that you have, I really believe the more metabolically, uh, metabolic healthy, you're going to be more healthy uh, for sure. Um, your metabolism is going to go faster. Uh, your body's just going to work better. Everything's going to be better when you have more muscle as compared to less muscle. And especially as you're getting older, if you're just doing cardio, if you're just running, if you're just walking, it's a lot easier to lose lean body mass if you're just doing cardio. So I'm not saying cardio is not important. It's one of the three, but that's in my opinion, why weight training is the number one thing. Don't neglect the other two, but for sure, don't neglect the weight training because, in my opinion, that's most important. Well, and I think what happens, Steve, is a lot of people, and I, I, I'm 100% with you on that. A lot of people get, you know, a little concerned with weight training, especially free weight training, because there's horror stories all over. But I want you to think about this, everyone. A lot of people will tell you why they're not going to weight train. And they're going to give you bad advice. They got some crazy horror story about some evil trainer or somebody, they heard somebody blew their back out or they heard all these reasons why. When you're told these things, if you're not into it and that's what's holding you back, look for the reason why you want to have weight training. Your friends aren't telling you things that probably didn't occur, but there's probably a heck of a lot more to it. We go to our facilities here. And with as many people and as many clients as we roll through here, correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, a true injury rate for us is almost non-existent. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, and, it, and, it and happens. I, I'm talking about true injuries. And, and so if you're smart about your program and you're safe with your program, you use proper techniques, you're going to be just fine. And if, if you just don't know what to do, come see a coach. And I think I think it's important if you do incorporate that weight training, though, you've got to listen to what Steve said. Make sure you got the flexibility um, program as well. Me, I, I go to somebody to stretch because I need it so bad. I pay people to stretch me and bend me. And it, it, it's something that, to me, is so very, very important as well. But don't neglect your cardio, especially those that really love to run. Make sure you stick with that as well. The one benefit of weight training that I really think is important, especially as we age, is the, the stability in the joints and everything because your muscles are bigger and better. But your bone density in, in strength training increases as well. Now, I'm not going to suggest if we're older, you know, like, you know, if I just started at my age and I'm going to have some big change in bone density, you know, at 57 years old, it's not going to really be a, be a big swing. Kind of like what Steve said, over the X number of years, you put on five pounds of muscle. Um, but it will make it better. 
And I think that's very important to understand. So everybody get out there and grasp it, Steve. Yeah, you know, um, we do assisted stretch at uh, most of our clubs and oh, it's yes, so popular. Yes. Yes. It's a assisted stretch and they've used the massage gun and everything. And it's absolutely phenomenal. People do it one time and they're hooked. Yes. So that's what Brian's talking about when he, he's talking about, he lets someone else stretch him. We, we have that in our clubs. Um, and as far as the injury, the last thing I'll say, as far as the injury bug with lifting free weights and so on, one simple suggestion, stay within your means. <laughs> yeah. Don't over lift. When you're lifting too heavy, when you're doing too much, that's when you get injured. Not only when you're doing things wrong with uh, improper technique, but when you're over lifting, when you're getting outside of the realm of what you should be doing, that's when you get injured. So don't do that. You'll, you'll, you should be fine. So um, Brian, as always, thanks for your input. And uh, Brian is at our Fitness for 10 studio, as you mentioned at the beginning. I, said, I think uh, go down and say hi to him if you're in the Carson City area. Uh, thanks for being with us, Brian. Thanks, Steve. Take care, everybody. See you soon.